Hey guys, it's Extrafoot at Introvert, and welcome to episode one of the new campaign series I'll be doing on the mod Stainless Steel 6.4. Now, when it comes to Medieval 2 Total War mods, this in my opinion is the best. Because, first of all, you have like seven or eight new factions. Like, you've got Crusader States, you got, uh, this means we're already here, Quaresmians, which are the, like, Iran. Basically, Spain is divided. Norway is in this game, but when it comes to actual improvement uh, to the base game factions, I believe that none are better than the Byzantine Empire. Like the HRE, it's, it's improved pretty well. Vaughn, it's one of my favorite factions to play in the base game. But the Byzantines are absolutely the most enjoyable faction to play in stainless steel because. Before, it, it was, you had like five settlements, basically, and none of those settlements were particularly like, they, they were just sort of like, nah, but now with all the added settlements, with the map being bigger, it gives you a feeling that you were actually an empire in this time. Now, I know historically that the Seljuks had taken over the entirety of Anatolia, but the Byzantines still held a lot in, uh, in Europe. Not as much as they did in the past few hundred years, but they still held stuff. That they also held Kaffa and Crimea. But, you know what? In my opinion, this is one of the most enjoyable factions to play in this game. Like, I, I've never had a bad time playing the Byzantines. So I hope you will enjoy watching this campaign. So let's just dive on in. Of course, very hard difficulty on both things, uh, both settings. All right. So, to start off, we have what, twelve settlements, fifteen. Yeah, see, fifteen. Already, you can see how big this this map is. You got Crime, uh, you got Cyprus, Crimea up here, Trebizond, and. A lot of Anatolia that you know they historically held at this time. Looks like Crete is not very happy with us. Let's just lower the tax rate there. Um, lower the tax rate everywhere, actually. Or we'll sign up lower the tax rate by land clearance everywhere. Land clearance is probably one of the most important buildings. If you're gonna have anything, you gotta have that. Land clearance and roads are very important. They're ba very basic buildings you need to have. Alright, we do have a Turkish army on the border of Nicaea, so let's just get rid of that. Or just sort of garrison Nicaea. Get some crap units as well. So we're not. Losing a bunch of good ones. Alright. That's pretty close to being. Yeah, the one problem is it of having a big empire is you can't buy everything across the empire. So, yeah. When it comes to army maneuvers, there are a few things you kind of want to do as this faction. Definitely want to take. The region up here, which I can do with relative ease. It, it's not too hard. There's no. They have no calf. I'm sorry. They have like a unit a calf. And I can do it pretty easily, which I'm about to do right now. So. All right, but where are generals? So that's what I gotta know. We have like. We have, we have two generals. Who's the heir? This guy. Co-emperor. He's 14. Wow, sounds like he's having a great life. <laughs> Time of his life, man. And he's in Rhodes, isn't he? No, he's not. Okay. Where is he? Oh, this that's this guy, isn't it? Yep, it's that guy. Okay. Now, what can we take right now? Probably go for Sofia and Bulgaria. Um, 
We should definitely... It's three turns until this place grows. So I'll just wait that out. Instead of turning it into a castle. Turn, get some land clearance over there. We're not really going to recruit much this turn. What's our navy looking like? Admiral, this guy, okay. We have a navy here. We have a fleet here, fleet here. Got it. Yes, my lord. Probably want to get this guy off. He's that's a pretty good unit. Same with these guys. Uh, some garrisons here. Some cheap jabs. Um, hmm. I'm not sure really what we should be doing right now. Cause we have Albania. We're gonna go for Ypres next. We're going for Bulgaria pretty soon. But this is Macedonia. This is what modern Macedonia. Even though this is actual Macedonia, right here. Orders. All right. Orders. Yes. What can we get over here? Oh, yeah, we can get these good units. Move this guy up. Your will. I forget what army is in here. And we definitely have enough of an army to take this settlement next. Yes. Let's just move here. Okay, Arta has how many? Five units in it. Yes, my lord. Yeah, so we can. Yes, my lord. We can just muster an army after a few turns. Let's actually take this army, right? Move yes. it March. towards Sophia. My lord. Because we definitely need a large army to take that. Orders. Uh, what should we? What are we gonna make? We're gonna make a lot of money, so we can take Orders. this guy with us as well. Continue tomorrow, my lord. All right, what would happen yes. if this guy left? Onward. We don't have enough to recruit anything. Oh, but there's 70%. Okay, the 70% public order, so we're good. As my lord will. Yes. March. Your will. Yes, my lord. All right. This is where we shall meet the enemy. We have a few generals scattered around. Only a few leaders, or only a few commanders, though. Ignore that. Um, Ready to trade. So, what do we do now? Uh, probably want to move this guy. Probably want to put the spy over here. 90%, 90%, or put up, oh, 80%, okay. Yes. Where are they? 88. That's with 33. That's with 44, okay. That's for. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what do we. That's uh, 13. That's a resource, isn't it? I think it is. Oh, that's gold over here. Hold up. No, we're, we're getting over here. That's gold. What agent? Okay, those are our three agents. Alright, uh, I think. Family tree wise. Doing alright, I guess. Let's uh, end the turn. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm planning on doing, you know. This, this is a fun, it's fun to do a series like this. So I don't really have to worry about, but. Okay. This is a pretty bad army. The brigands are going to be scary to fight, but everything else here is pretty bad. So let's save the game in case uh, of any crashes, which I don't experience often, but I play this game a lot, so I've experienced my fair few number of crashes but yeah these episodes are going to be like 10 to 20 minutes long depends on what kind of mood i'm in yeah in case you weren't uh wondering why i did a league video i was just trying to experiment see what might work for me but i think my heart really lies in medieval 2 because it, it's really just an amazing game. It, it's old, yeah, but 
with an infinite number of possibilities. Which I think is what you want in a game of vari like variety. That's why you play games in general. And play different games. To, so that you know, we have a variety of, that we of enter uh, forms of entertainment that we can choose at any time. Yeah, I, I, yeah, but I decided, uh, I did actually film one of these a few weeks, I think a month ago, and I decided it wasn't a good enough quality. I didn't like the quality. It was, it was pretty crap. Like, it, the mic was, sounded bad at the time. Alright, we need to, we need to pick off. Oh, that's not good. We don't want to take too many casualties. We need to uh, pick off some of these. I I hate cab archers. It's it's like why? Why do you exist? You know? It it it's just so annoying to play against them. It's nice that they're have nice to have though. Like Turkmen's are, in my opinion, one of the best cab archers in the game. Or some of the best guys. Oh God. Yeah, we are losing these guys left and right. Alright, we got that. We can... Alright. Back off here. We wanna... We wanna... Yeah, we wanna engage in quick skirmishes with these. Just so we don't lose too many. Yeah, see, we, we killed like most of them. We lost two guys. We want we want to be able to successfully just turn on them at any time. And we want to make sure that they're... Alright, good. Good. I'm doing this on six speed because I can. It's, it's, in case you're wondering that. Alright, that's an instant break. We don't have to worry about that unit anymore. Oh yeah, that was just Levy Archers though. It wasn't important. Not like they were gonna do anything. Alright. Alright, we got the general. Alright, that's that's two of them broken. Now go yeah, go for that. Go through the lovey archers first. Just so we have like less AoE fire that misses. Alright, who's not broken yet? It's, it's just these guys, isn't it? Yep. That's how. That's how you do that. That is how you win. That is how you win with very few men. Killed six hundred of them. And lost fourteen of ours. You just gotta make sure you, you know you're not getting in melee range for a long time. A most honorable victory, my noble Pausing lord. the game is important sometimes, so. Alright. We just took Scopia. Or Scopia. It's Greek, man, I can't pronounce that. Yes, yes? Alright. I don't want to draw out. I, like, how many turns do we have to, to take this? 15, yeah. And we're on the doorstep already. Five turns. I'm willing to wait that. I also don't want to draw it out, in my opinion. It's not a good idea. Blah, 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 blah. That's probably us for all those. Alright, that's annoying. That's very annoying. That is... God, that, that's, that makes me want to rage right there. Like, dang, that, that's really stupid. Oh, wait, no, that's not our army, is it? I thought that was our army. Okay, good, yeah, that army's over here, isn't it? Those are just the same units that we have. I just got really confused. Alright, we got a building everywhere. Just make sure we're... You know, capitalizing on our industry. Yep, land clearance is pretty important there. Yes. Alright. So first, let's get this guy off. Then get this... 
Uh, that's good for now, I guess. Probably want to get that, though. We can leave that guy on. Wait, hold up. Can we leave right now? They will not be happy, okay. Yeah, we just... Yep. Adrian Opal is going to be able to get the stuff. Like, they're going to be able to recruit, so we're not going to lose. Uh, we're, we, they may not, they're not going to revolt or rebel against us. Uh, how many turns now? Okay, yeah. It's just like three turns. Or two turns left. Until that becomes better. Probably want to get some recruitment buildings there. Sparta. Um, hmm. Not sure what to do here. What to build afterwards. Probably a bowyer, because it's a wooden castle, it's not a complete garbage settlement. Yeah, in my opinion, I really like how they handled um, Byzantines in the early and late campaigns. Like, I like how they added a bunch of stuff where, you know, there would be settlements here. This is one of the more most populous places in the world. Constantinople was like the city of the world at the time. Yeah, you see, 10, like 13,000 people. At this time, that's that's like really big. There would be a lot of settlements around this area because this is historically where a lot of people lived, compared to like England, right? They added like two settlements. So I mean, England is smaller than the Byzantines, or was, but you still feel you still get the point. Like they very well could have easily added a bunch of settlements there. They decided not to. They, they really paid attention to what was important at the time. And I really like that. Developers of stainless steel did a really good job. Alright. Let's get a diplomat. Ready to trade. As you wish. We can probably get, uh, probably send this guy to the front lines. Yes. Just have some garbage spears. Alright, yeah, we definitely need a mustering hall there. And we're still making money. We made more that turn. Then we lost. Then we spent on the turn previous. It was, it's, it's pretty funny. Alright. Oh, we can get the Mount of Acrite. That's actually that's really nice. Yeah, just recruit everywhere. But afterwards, we probably want to get a mustering hall and a billiard. To By the way, comment down below if the, the mic quality or the volume quality sounds bad. I might change some of the settings. Your orders? Just want to know. Yes, um, is that about? Is that all we can do really? Like, yeah, we can't really do much right now with this. Wait, we could definitely send one here though. Oh wait, no, never mind. No, no, just go back. Go yes. back. Move on. Stand your eyes up. All right, end the turn. Let's do this. Yep. So once we take Epirus, we'll have the entirety, or I, Epirus, we'll have the entirety of uh, Greece locked down. Now, right now, I'm debating over whether or not I should go for uh, the Seljuks. What's the Seljuks? I, I can't pronounce anything in history. Yes. Your orders, no um, or do we go for this settlement right here? I forget what it's called. It's the thing that... Uh, I don't even know what the miner is called anymore in EU4. 
whatever. It's one of the Anatolian miners in EU4. Alright, let's leave behind... What do we have? A lot of... We don't have enough archers, so let's leave behind a spear, uh, spear unit. But yeah, let's... let's Really, you couldn't have walked around this guy. You couldn't have walked around this guy. What the? What are you doing? What? Yeah, it's cool. I don't want to start off uh, start a war with the Seljuks yet, because I feel like I don't have enough a large enough army. Like I could definitely cheese them out of a few settlements, but that's not fun. Like, we're, we're going to war with them soon, though. Orders? I, I do want a land route, though, to Trebizond. Alright. First of all, let's talk to the Cummins. Map for map. No, nah. not doing that. I'm just gonna sell my map information then. A well considered offer, Sadiq. I accept. Alright. Let's head up to Hungary. What do we have to destroy? Alright. Republic of Venice, Kingdom of Sicily, and the Seljuks. Okay, so we don't have to kill Hungary. Which I like, but I'm probably gonna kill them anyway. I don't wanna fight the Cummins. Not because I can't kill, fight the Cummins, because I just don't want to fight them. I, don't, I, don't, I feel like they should be just be left alone. They're going to get killed by the Mongolians eventually anyway. Your orders, number one. Orders. Move on. Alright. Let's... What? Your Your no, it's this guy. Your okay. Orders, one. Yes. Ready to train. On my way. Yeah, let's, let's take order, this army out. Orders. Hopefully they don't riot. Are you kidding me? I have to fight through that? Come face me. That's annoying. Hold up. I'm just gonna sail around then. They're blocking the way in. It's really annoying. I find it funny that merchants, that the rebels can have merchants. Very interesting. Makes me think. Alright. Let's send this small brigade out. Brigade, small brigade. Um, you know, I think this is a good place to end the episode. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time for episode two. Bye.